Rise Son of Rome is the underappreciated Xbox One exclusive that launched alongside the next-gen system in the fall of 2013. Having just completed my playthrough, I can confidently say that Rise Son of Rome is a victim of misguided expectations and gamer groupthink, and that it is in no way deserving of the vitriol it has received. Anyone who is a fan of hack and slash games will surely take pleasure in Rise, for the set pieces are massive and the mechanics, for the most part, fluid and satisfying. It's not anything particularly new in terms of the medium, save perhaps the fact that it's actually well written, and for this reason, I believed it was judged harshly as a next-gen game. The internet has a way of galvanizing for the purpose of hating a game the instant there are any complaints or issues, oftentimes without having actually experienced said game, and Rise is yet another victim of such a dangerous trend. The most overlooked aspect of this game is its surprisingly excellent narrative. Gamers and critics are certainly far too desensitized to violence, but they are even more desensitized to bad dialogue. I cannot emphasize enough how refreshing it is to control a protagonist that actually has thoughts. The story is focused squarely on Marius, and as a result, players will feel more and more connected to him and his evolution over the course of this bloody, powerful tale of retribution. So if you like hack and slash games, movies like Gladiator, and want a fun, brutal adventure to occupy your time, you can't do much better than Rise, Son of Rome.